I am Anissa from Irwan's class and in this debate segment I am here favoring the side that the globalization is extinguishing the natural interests. As we know that the globalization simply refers to the influential impact of the economy and the social issues of the society. The globalization is a major issue which is causing a lot of problems like emerging new diseases and preventing the reforms of the life. And as we know that uh, due to the globalization, there's more transportation. And due to that, the more fossil fuels, fuels are burned and the more poorer and unhealthier our environment is being. And also, the, uh, on the other hand, the globalization is just splitting and is, uh, is splitting uh, the natural resources, which, uh, which are very uh, essential for our life. And we are suffering from the deficiency of energy, which is very much important for ev ev every life. And uh, on the other hand, we can see that due to the globalization, uh, the level of the greenhouse gas is emerging and it is too much, uh, the various diseases are uh, spreading in the world. That's why we are suffering from very dangerous dise diseases and also our environment is being too much unhealthier day by day. Assalamu alaikum. I am Aminullah Kamar from advanced class. I am here to talk about the globalization, saying that globalization is not extinguishing national interest. As she has defined globalization, so I want to uh, say that how the globalization has given impact, uh, been impacts to us. So as we compare the globalization now and to past and what happened in past and what is happening now, so we uh, see numerous changes in the world. And we were, in the past, the people were not globalized. And now we are globalized and it is called uh, 4.0 uh, globe. And today we are globalized due to that we are doing our works uh, easily. And this is the time and this is the best present that we have due to the globalization. Today we have relationships to other countries and we are getting, I mean, tra we have trades. And on the other end, too, she has said that we have diseases that are spreading due to the globalization. What about the medicines? What are the treatment that we are having due to the globalization? And what? why you don't talk about the uh, diseases what that num uh, numerous people have died uh, in past and they were not having the medicine. Today we have the medicine due to the globalization. On the other end, today we are just the businesses, we are businesses are being and we have the companies and due to the what? Globalization. And they are, I mean companies are capable to... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as he defined different sector of globalization like the companies and industries, but if we see on the other side, they are creating and they are spreading a lot of diseases and also uh, the globalization is causing uh, the natural uh, habitats of the animals means uh, the waterways which are our fish and the forests which are uh, cut it down due to which uh, our our environment is suffering from very bad uh, situations uh, and he told that in this modern world we have uh, different uh, companies and we are ha having the trade from one country to another. Uh, the more uh, uh, product is uh, uh, transferred to one, one country to another, the more uh, fossil fuel fuels are burned. And due to that, not only our uh, climate or not only our lives, uh, the human life is impacted, but also those of uh, animals means those animals which are living on water and those animals which are living in forest, their life is too much destroyed and they are not uh, getting, uh, uh, means they are uh, suffering from very uh, harmful environmental changes. The problem that she has told us and demonstrated and these problems are being from the past and we are, they are these are not being created by the globalization first we have to understand. And on the other end, why you don't talk about the poverty that we have now, the solution for this. According to World Bank that 1.1 billion people has gone out of the poverty due to what globalization and they are getting jobs from the different companies from different uh, countries. On the other end, today our, we students are capable to go other countries for learning. We have a scholarship and we are getting good uh, knowledge due to what 
globalization and on the other end we know about overall about the world information we have we have books and we have uh, alternations in our subjects and our uh, schools due to what globalization and today we see that pakistan is going down and its economy is uh, uh, not rising up and today uh, it is getting uh, she is getting help from other countries like uh, america and china they have the trades and we are seeing that how the globalization has globalized us and how it is uh, assistance for us and you are saying it is not me giving us uh, advent adventurous it is not adventurous and it is not giving disadvantages it is giving advantages it is these are just thoughts of people they said that these are just uh, giving uh, disadvantages to us yeah, no, no.